Okay, it's our special segment, Insight Edge. Today, the focus is on KPIT Technologies. The company has done a recent acquisition in Europe. Uh, the acquired company is called Technica Engineering. And the management was very optimistic that post the acquisition, uh, they can see an incremental 10% addition to their revenues. Reema is here to give us more details on that. Reema. Thanks so much for that. Well, you know, it's the acquisition which has got the street excited. KPIT Tech announced the acquisition of the Munich-based group called Technica. They announced it last week. That time, the price of KPIT Tech was about 575 And since then, we've seen a rally in the stock price in the last one week. So quick word about the acquired company. KPIT Tech will be paying 80 million euros for the acquired company. The revenues of the acquired company were 43 million euros last year with EBITDA margins of 20%. And the company said uh, in the press release that the acquisition will be EPS secretive. Now, today we had a chat with the management, as you pointed out. So first, what the management said on the contribution of the acquired company. Remember, KPIT Tech gives you an annual guidance. So what the management said is that we will revise the guidance higher to incorporate the, you know, K the acquired company, but we will do that only once the acquisition gets completed, which is closer to October end. So perhaps when they come out with their numbers, we would have an updated guidance, but they're saying that the acquired company should at least contribute 10% to FY24 revenues, which is when they'll have a full 12-month you know, contribution of Technica. All synergies, they said, while they will not comment on individual clients of Technica, they did say that two of the largest clients of the acquired company, Technica, are in the top 25 client focus list of KPIT Tech. So they're looking to increase their penetration over there. But Technica also boasts of some of the disruptors, which is where KPIT Tech wants to focus on. And finally, we also quiz them about worries of slowdown. Since they're acquiring an EU-based company and they have a global exposure, well, they said that as of now, their interactions with clients, their engagements do not suggest any sort of a slowdown. Down, uh, technology budgets seem to be pretty much intact. Back to you. All right, thanks a lot for that, Reema. In fact, earlier today we spoke to Kishore Patel, the co founder, MD, and CEO at KPIT Tech. He, let's listen in to what he had to tell us about this new acquisition. There are some estimates which suggest that uh, you know, this acquisition may add about 12% to your revenues. Uh, is that a, is that a uh, kind of uh, a, in the Certainly ballpark figure right? to look at? For the next year, that's how we feel. 24, right? Mm, yeah. <clears throat> At least 10%. And then, because it really depends upon how the other business grows also. So I think we are in that situation. So at least 10%, I would say. In two of the large accounts, I think that's where there's a uh, complementary. So uh, in line with our strategy about T25, that uh, will get uh, that will strengthen these accounts and uh, make us uh, our market share uh, will go up in these two accounts we see the client uh, interaction client engagement client movement are not being impacted much so we actually see a reasonable demand environment in europe uh, so that's that's where at least till now we are not seeing anything um, so uh, we don't see any concern on that area and specifically as you know we work with very closely with few clients so we get some idea beforehand okay so companies like kpit tech saying they are not too impacted by the slowdown in us in europe in fact if anything uh, they are seeing um, good demand trends across the automotive space let's slip into a quick break on the other side manisha gupta our commodities editor will be joining in she has with her peter maguire of xm australia stay tuned